You're watching Less Than Epic's coverage of the Overwatch League. Enjoy the show. Hello everyone, my name is Kinky and welcome to Less Than Epic's Power Rankings heading into Stage 2 Week 3 of the Overwatch League. This past week was only the third time that we've had one or fewer matches go into overtime. Of the 11 matches that didn't go into overtime, 6 of them went to 4-0 results. That being said, one would probably imagine that it was relatively easy to rank our teams this week, but boy would you be mistaken. Right now it feels like the top 6 teams are all very close in talent right now, especially with the new changes to the meta, so it's very hard to place them all. With that, let's find out where the LTE crew placed all 12 teams. Holding firm at number 12 are the Shanghai Dragons. They lost both of their matches 0-4 this week, and they were both to two of the less talented teams in the league against San Francisco and the Gladiators. They have looked a lot better on escort maps than they have on control maps. Maybe if they can up their game on control maps, they'll be able to start winning some games. We all want them to win some games. I mean, who doesn't want to see the underdog succeed? Coming in at number 11, we have the Florida Mayhem. The only reason they're still above Shanghai on this list is because they were able to beat them in stage one. Florida was able to take a map from a very good London team this week, so that is a plus note for this team. But other than that, nothing really seems to be going their way. We need to see some more effort from their newly signed players. We haven't really seen much of them in the past two weeks. Coming in at number 10 are the San Francisco Shock. Yeah, we know the bottom four teams look like they're all going to be the same again. San Francisco went 1-1 one one this week. That one victory was against the Dragons. Maps 3 and 4 were very close games and nearly drove the game to overtime. San Francisco has a chance to climb the power rankings this week. They play Dallas, which is a winnable game, and they play against New York. Nobody thinks they'll beat New York, but if they can pull off a couple maps, who knows? Coming in at number 9, we have the LA Gladiators. Five of their six wins have been against teams that are below them on this list. So five of those six wins, Shanghai, Florida, and the San Francisco Shock. The other win was against Philly in week two of stage one. Rolling in at number eight, we have the Dallas Fuel. Dallas came into this past week on a four game win streak. Unfortunately, that win streak didn't do them much good as they went 0-2 against Soul and Valiant. One has to ask the question, could they possibly have figured out how to counter AKM? We'll see what the Dallas Fuel can pull out in the upcoming weeks. Rolling in at number 7 we have the Boston Uprising. Boston was finally able to stop the bleeding against Florida this past week in their first victory in 3 games. Previously in 3 games they were 0-12 losing every single map. However when they played Florida they won very handily in a 4-0 victory. This week should be interesting for Boston. They have a game against Shanghai, which is extremely winnable, and if they don't win, I think everybody will start to question where they should actually be on this list. And then they also have a very tough game against London. Rounding out our top six teams, we have the Los Angeles Valiant. The Valiant are three and one in this stage. However, those three wins have come against San Francisco, Dallas, and Shanghai. On all of those wins, they only took three maps. Their one loss this stage against Seoul in week one, where they lost zero to four. This week they play Houston and it's a good matchup to find where they truly are in the top six. Dropping all the way down to number five, we have the Houston Outlaws. Houston lost both of their games this week. They first lost to the Philadelphia Fusion, which was a fantastic game and was the only game that went into overtime this week. Their other game was against New York where they did not look so good, and they lost 0-4. to After they play Valiant this week, they don't play a team with a winning record until Game 2 of Week 5 against Seoul. This could help them build up the momentum they had at the end of Stage 1, and look to shoot to the top of these charts again. Number 4 we have the Philadelphia Fusion. Philly had a huge statement win over Houston this past week, and that is a large reason why they are ranked ahead of them on these charts. That being said, they did fail to show against London, but we still feel they are one of the top teams in this league. Shadowburn played all nine games. Where was EQO? He had an amazing week one. Everybody was expecting to see him in week two. 
They play Seoul and New York this week. Do we really think they can win both of those games? I think they can make them at least interesting. If they can manage to win one or even two of those games, look for them to shoot to the top one or two places on this list. Coming in at number three, we have the Seoul Dynasty. Seoul has won five games in a row right now. They are on an absolute hot streak. However, only one of those wins was against an actual good team, the LA Valiant. If those wins had come against stronger opponents, they could possibly be at the number two spot on our list. They do have a tough schedule coming up where four of their six teams are with winning records and in our top six. Number two, we have the London Spitfire flying in. London had a dominant performance over Philadelphia this past week. They were able to show how flexible they still were despite their player losses in between stage one and stage two. London has a relatively easy week this week. They play against Boston and the Gladiators. Look for them to get two wins. However, let's not forget that Boston was able to give London their first loss on the season. Can we have a possible repeat of Boston being London? And holding strong at the number one spot, we have the New York Excelsior. New York was able to shake off their loss to London last week and go on an absolute tear this week. They won all eight of their maps. They have a very good chance of landing the number one seed for the stage two playoffs as the remaining records of all their opponents are only 39 and 43. Look out as the New York Excelsior keep that number one position as long as they can beat Philly. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, make sure you come back next Tuesday for our power rankings heading into stage two, week four, and head over to our channel for more awesome Overwatch League content. As always guys, take care and we'll see you in the next one. If you like our coverage of the Overwatch League, let us know by liking and subscribing. And if you didn't, let us know why in the comments below. Maybe we can make it better. Thanks for watching, everyone.